sync packager is a super simple but if i may say so brilliant concept to help you work with multiple people on the same team without bloating your drive with files if you're in the games business you know that games is a business of volume uh, where for example the web industry is more about small files and optimizing games are about optimizing also but you will have a lot of files very very quickly even a simple game is up to a one gig in uh, in assets pretty pretty fast in our company uh, you know we don't want to uh, build a big studio where everybody is in one place and works on one game instead we hire talent all over the globe this guy is perfect at graphics this guy is perfect at shader coding that sort of stuff and then uh, you know we we sync our projects back together now that comes with its own obvious problems even if the guys were in one room here it would have a lot of problems because uh, you have a lot of files to merge in and out now there are lots of solutions out there that you can use, for example, a server, and everybody on your team gets a server license, and that way you check files in and out, and everything gets synced nice, back, and easy. But for us, that was not really an option, because we use uh, up to 24 freelancers at the same time, and you know that means for every freelancer we hire, and we hire hundreds a year, we need to buy them a server license that gets way too costly. And you cannot really put the cost on the freelancer itself, because this is not how we do business. We ourselves in treating our freelancers so well that they make us a priority over the bigger companies and that's how we get them so uh, that's not cool to make them charge for it so uh, we came up with a different solution to merge files in and out now before I explain exactly how sync packager works let me explain how we got there because it changes your opinion a little bit about workflow and those kinds of things what we started doing first is we started at the beginning of the week sending everybody one master project and said work off of this project then at the end of the day sometimes depending on the deadline or at the end of the week we get your project back and merge the changes now of course with up to 24 freelancers that gets really bloated really quickly because you're sending a one gig file that turns into a one point something gig file and you have to sync that back over the cloud using whatever Dropbox or Adobe Cloud or what have you and uh, pretty soon you'll be out of space and buying new space constantly because of you know all the files you're pumping back and forth and it's just a hassle to integrate them all so um, our new strategy using Sync Packager is kind of similar, but it's better. Uh, in st you still send them a master project at the beginning of the week or whenever you say uh, this is when the gig starts. And you keep a copy of that. Then you ask your freelancer to make another copy of that as well. So they have the original file at the beginning of the week, but they also have their working project. Then, when they're done and they need to report back, what they do is they take their current project that has changed and use Sync Packager to package up the difference between the original uh, package. So that means only the files that have changed or have been added will be uh, packaged up in a .unity package and you can send that back over to the mothership, in this case us. And this takes file sizes down incredibly fast and it makes it super in easy to integrate because all you have to do is import them in a copy of your project and boom it's all integrated now of course this doesn't work if the same person works on the same uh, file uh, when it comes to code but it works brilliantly when it comes to you know level designers and that sort of thing or if you have just a small team where you know from each other what project you're working on so that's what sync packager does for you now let me uh, show you here how it works in the interface I have a project open here. I'm just going to close it out, or let me say hide it. And on the desktop, I have two folders. One is called FPS Control Beta 4, and the other one is co called Beta 4.1. So obviously, 4 is the earlier version than 4.1. Yeah, in our company, we use a file naming convention that starts with the year underscore month underscore day, so that any operating system will sort it automatically in what is newer and what is older. Um, you know, pretty easy uh, thing to teach your freelancers. All right, so. 4.1 is obviously newer and it's also the one that I have open in uh, Unity at this point. So what I'm going to do is go to FPS Control and click Editor. And that brings up my FPS Control Editor. I'm going to log in from here. And I'm going to go to the Teamwork tab where a Sync Packager is located. 
So it asked me, let's package up newer change files compared to an older Unity project. So step one, locate the old project's assets folder. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click locate and it asked me where it is. So I'm going to go to my desktop here and it's in beta 4. So that's all I have to do and click uh, assets to make sure I have the assets folder selected and then hit choose. Now it asks me, sync package you will now scan which files in the current project are newer and where would you like to save those out to. So I'm going to click save as and I'm just going to put that on my desktop as well and it already names it latest object uh, 20th of January which is the time I'm recording this video and the time even. So that's pretty nice, the date and timestamp is in there. So I'm going to hit save. Now it's going to compare my files with each other and this could take quite a while. What we've noticed is, you know, even the smallest game could be up to a gig. So uh, Sync Packager will work in the background no matter what your operating system tells you. It may say, hey, this, uh, this uh, application is hanging, do you want me to close it? Don't close it, I promise you it's working in the background, it's just not reporting back to the front buffers of your computer but it is doing its thing and pretty soon you will have a .unity package file saved out. It can just take a little while even if you don't see the slider moving. So I'm just going to wait this one out. And that took a little while but as you can see the third screen has come up where Sync Packager says it's finished, your package has been saved, your team members could import it as a custom package from the asset menu. So let me show you that if I close this off here. Then you'll see on the desktop a new file has been created which is a .unity package. Now the .unity package, if we look at the uh, file info here, is um, only 500 MBs because uh, we pretty much added an entirely new uh, AI engine since 4.1. So, um, you know, but it's a lot smaller than up to two gigs, you know, when it's uncompressed. So you'll um, not need to send over as much data. So imagine that you were the freelancer, you would take this Unity package and used whatever service like Dropbox to send it back to the original guy. Then the original guy would open up the scene in beta 4. So I'm just going to go to Unity here and click uh, quit to quit the 4.1 and then open Unity here for the 4.0 open that up wait for it to load and now all I have to do is go up to the menu here up top and say um, assets import package custom package and then I browse to the package on my desktop here which is called um, latest update open it up and it's going to read the package for me and tell me what files have changed since the old one and ask me if I want to update them. Now, that's pretty cool. Uh, one more thing that most people try that I can tell you does not work is that they try and put their entire project folder on Dropbox, for example, and say, oh, let's have Dropbox take care of the syncing. This doesn't work because when you open up the Unity engine, it will create all kinds of temporary files and, uh, you know, it creates a, a horrible mess if two people try to open the same project at the same time. Your Dropbox just starts syncing back and forth and it goes crazy. So that doesn't work. So the easiest way to work together uh, for small teams or for global teams in this case is to use Sync Packager, unless, of course, you can want to purchase yourself a couple of server licenses. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up. If you want to train your team to use Sync Packager, all you have to do is send them a master project uh, and send them a link to this video that explains how Sync Packager works. Enjoy and check out the other features within FPS Control as well. Talk to you later. <laughs>